Ooh, I need two of those. My name is Mike. I'm from Thiels, New York, and I'm 34 years old. My primary job, I'm an IT support technician, and I volunteer as a firefighter. Coming down for breakfast anytime soon? I'll be right down. Michael, keep an eye on those pancakes, because they'll burn on one side. I know. Man, flip them over. Ah, leave me alone. <laughs> Boy, them pancakes looking like fried potato chips. How you 34 not, not know how to make pancakes? Boy, add some baking powder, please. My man out here building extraterrestrial coliseums out of like Lego sets, but can't follow simple pancake recipes. <laughs> like I'm so confused. And then have the audacity to go feed these fried potato chips to his gramps and pops, talking about, are they good? Pop, are they good, bad? Uh, I don't want to answer that. Don't worry, pops, I'll answer for you. Boy, they look disgusting. That's self-explanatory. Like at this point, just just go ahead and feed me some Lego my egos. Cause if this how we cooking, boy, that's a surefire way to get first class tickets to the next XXX Juice World concert. But what's up squad, man, we back at it with another 90 day fiasco disaster. And I mean disaster. <laughs> So today we have old boy Simpy Mikey and of course Sugar Baby, Cam Girl, whatever you want to call her, uh, Hamena. My girlfriend's name is Hamena. She's 24 years old and she lives in Pareira, Colombia. And she's the most beautiful woman in the world. Now when this first aired, my spidey senses were already tingling, telling me this better be some widow shit. <laughs> and boy was I right, cause this boy Mike on episode Uno said he found Hamena on a quote unquote dating site when really this man was juicing up on lotion bottles and tissue simping on a cam girl site. Bro! Since I went 34 years without finding a woman in my local area, oh my I just decided to change my location in a dating application and just switch it over to Columbia. When I first got the notification that I met his wife right, I was just like, wow, is this really happening? I had to like pinch myself. Well, you ought to keep pinching my boy, cause, cause that never happened. Cause according to a minute, like not too long ago, she exposed him on an IG post saying she found Mike on a quote unquote webcam site, accepted the money and was well disgusted to see him fully nudity. <laughs> when I first got the notification that I met his wife right, I was just like, wow, is this really happening? I had to like pinch. Stop the cap. <laughs> See, like, I knew it was too good to be true. Like, logistically, it didn't even make sense. Like, the boy practically said he had zero experience. My past relationships, they've consisted of... Um, that's really a tough question. <laughs> I haven't really had a relationship in the past 20 years or so. Like, how are you supposed to attract and pull women when you're 34 living with Gramps and Pops in a house straight out of, like, The Hobbit? Know what the wings? Like, I wouldn't be surprised that not one bit if Gandalf just randomly walked by. You shall not pass! And don't get me wrong, like, nothing wrong with taking care of your family, but but you gotta have your own space, your own ecosystem, your own attractions. <laughs> know what I mean? And then you out here posting pics like, like this? And this? Bro, that's not even you. Like, we in 22, not 02, you competing with guys like your brothers. Like, this man right here is practically Hercules in the flesh. And I don't even know what the situation is, but like, the genetic gods really dropped the ball on this one. Uh -huh. So your game has to be that much more on point just to compensate. And when it's not, whoa, you gotta pay to play. And apparently, he been paying a lot for, for no play. What else have you paid besides rent? Um, so the, that I helped, helped her with like the, the fridge and the washing machine, Jesus that's it. Christ. Wow. This chick's milking you. This is beyond red flags. This is like the nuclear air horn blowing across the country, your TV <laughs> messages are coming up saying, warning, warning, warning. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's not getting it. <laughs> the floodgates are closing. The National Guard is here. Like, all the signs are out. You probably could have slapped like 10 billboards right across his face, but personal call from the President Biden himself. Uh, uh, this is not a good look, my boy. Nope, 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 nope. Not a good idea. And I bet you Monopoly money, he's still gonna be chasing Punani all the way to Colombia. And, and then some. Dumbass motherfucker. Like, it's so crazy to me then. All the episodes, friends, family, the whole inner circle knows it's a terrible idea, disaster waiting, nuclear bomb about to go boom. Your TV <laughs> messages are coming up saying, warning, warning, warning. Everybody is well aware, except for the guy who should be well aware. 
and and then some. <laughs> but I digress. So Mike shoo, flies to Colombia in a first meeting. <laughs> Awkward as she. <laughs> Awkward as she. My first impression seeing him then, I was extremely happy. First kiss was amazing. <laughs> Eso que fue así como tocadito porque no es un beso así apasionado, no. Pero creo que van a haber besos más mejores que este. So what is she saying, Mike? What? So we already off to a rough start. You know, her body language is telling me, mm -mm, she ain't feeling him. But that's expected, like, like this Mike we talking about, you know, typical old Joe down the block. Like he may be 34, but dating experience, middle schoolerish. Like little kisses and hugs probably still get this man all excited. <laughs> but I digress, cause, cause he's here on some real intentions, like marriage intentions, which is wild to me, mind boggling. Cause she screams three or four lately. There's too many two two twos, two kids, two baby daddies, too much going on. And like I know it states she's 24, but but I say 24 going on 42. Like, like she look older than my grandma. Like I'm gonna need some ID checks. <laughs> Ain't that right, Mikey boy? And like I swear, this man low-key stays with the agro energy. Like like even meeting her kids for like the first time. Like dude even made that weird. Oh no one. What the hell? I swear, man knows about three words. Hola, te amo. Hola, Juan, te amo. Te amo más. Daddy, chill. You creeping everybody out. Little kid probably thinking, who is predator? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not really. But that's neither here nor there. So the man's here. You know, first night gets late. That was it. Um. Hooray, hooray. You're not gonna be a 40-year-old virgin. Unfortunately, you didn't have Gino's plugs. You, you know, the blue pillies, the rock bottoms, euphoria in a capsule. Ta-da! Because according to the Yelp reviews, Sling Game is a little weak. In short, he was in Picasso with a paintbrush. He was like a, a man with Parkinson's. But brushing that aside, pun intended, he takes her to a nice little resort, you know, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, Colombia, which was cool, you know, I like that. That's a grown man move, but too bad he don't act like one. <laughs> Up until today, we've been in Mena's house. Her dad's downstairs. Harold's coming into the bed, so I just want to be with Jimena, just me and her. I am not going to waste any time. What the hell? No. <laughs> Te amo? Te amo? Bro, really? My man guessed up the whole room, and all you gotta say is, Hey, I'm all... Bro! Bro, the balcony is right there! All you had to say was, Hey, little moment, you chill right there. Go wash up. I'm gonna go do a little prayer, little meditation. Power now, eh, eh, Cartoli, you know me, on the balcony. See you in a minute. And then go do your thing. <laughs> Add a little pollution to, to the east side mountain of Columbia. Like, I don't care. Like, go ahead and uh, double check the undies. You don't want to get all lovey-dovey. She go looking for Spongebob, whips it out, and all we see is Kid Row. Like, it's nasty. Probably why you've been single for like a quarter century. Because you're nasty. See, this was like the legitimate first date. And my man out here acting like he on Beyblades. Let it rip! <laughs> Bro! Like, kid you not, this part right here <laughs> was like the turning point of the whole relationship. Like, it wasn't moving up, but, but it wasn't... <laughs> until this scene. Like, she was disgusted. With this man ever since. Um, tengo cosas que quiero hablar contigo que no me gustan de ti. Okay, um, we can talk about anything. También hay cosas de que, o sea, cuando tú comes y vas a derrotar, no tiene que hacerlo delante de mí. Eh, también cuando te tiras tus pedos, no lo hagas adelante de mí. Me da asco, eso me desenamora. I'm not farting in front of Hamena intentionally just to do it. So. I'm just wondering where, where is this coming from? I know exactly where it's coming from. Uh, straight up your booty cheeks. <laughs> Bro, you 34. You a grown man. Have some common sense. Like, you're not easy on the eyes. Like, the least you could do is be easy on the nose. And you can't even do that. 
Now I found this really interesting. Uh, this little look she gave him. Yeah, this one, the the disgusted look, the quote unquote ick, a look she has never given this man before. And so now, like this man literally went back to the U.S. like a day later, and then re flew back to Colombia, and she was still rocking this look. She didn't even pick up the man from the airport. She didn't come to the airport like she did on the first visit. Like at that point, I knew it was over. It's over now. De ahora en adelante seremos amigos. Tú no me mandas dinero. No me ayudas con nada y yo pago mis cosas. So you just want to be friends, that's it? After this whole year and a half? Hoy termina nuestra relación y es en serio. Okay, anything I paid for, I want to take back with me to New York. Si tú te quieres llevar todo lo que en mi casa, llévatelo todo. No lo necesito. So what? I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> what the what? This shit is too good. This shit is too good. Now, this little dude, Mike, only has like one leverage over this woman, and that's money. Like, I think he's paying for like the rent she's living at, uh, the fridge, washing machine, all the home amenities, uh, pretty much her whole lifestyle. And he's pretty much gaslighting her with this old beta billy provider bullshit he's been on. Okay, anything I paid for, I want to take back with me to New York. Like, bro, Mike, you're like 4'10". How the hell are you taking a fridge back to New York? <laughs> Dude, wildin'. Now, think about how disgusted a man had to be with this man for her to give up everything. Like, like her whole current lifestyle, which I assume is beneficiary for the kids. Like, this dude has to be the most disgusting, disgusting rat. And he pretty much proved it. And like this next scene. A small part of me feels like it's not over just yet. Keep the rings and guard them safe until we can work out our differences. You do realize that you're losing the best thing that you could have ever had. Ya se acabó esta relación, no más. This only reinforces the fact that you were using me for money. Because right now you're cold and calculated. No más, no más, no más. She's a mean, evil, cold bitch. Bro, chill, chill. Ain't nobody did this but you. You're weird. This, this dude is weird. You're weird. This man really said, you're losing the best thing you could have ever had. In what world, Mike? In what world, Mike? In what world, Mike? <laughs> Back to playing Legos, my boy. Ooh, it's 5 a.m. right now. We're getting litty. <laughs> We're getting litty. But Mike, you something, bro. Mike, you are something, bro. Like, whether or not she used you for money, that don't even matter. That don't even matter, bro. That don't even matter. Like, you found her on the webcam site. You offered to pay her money. Like, what did you expect? What did you expect? You're lucky. You got lucky. You're lucky you got lucky. Like these beta Billy boys be getting me so mad, bro. Get it? They be blaming everybody but themselves. They be blaming everything but themselves. It's you. It's you, Mike. It's you, bro. God damn. Jesus. All right. You know what? Somebody send this to Mike. Mike, word of advice. Instead of calling people bitches, how about you go get some? Jeez. But well, stay back and play with Legos. <laughs> that, that works too. But hey, Mikey, hey. What do I know, bro? I'm just sipping sauce. One rapper, two rapper, three rapper, four. All these bodies in my closet, I know that most of my favorite rappers wasn't spitting like me at the age of 19. Make a motherfucker think that my idols, my rivals, and I never lose. So my idols get slotted, they're thrown in the trenches. I snipe from a distance like boom, pow. I reload and I empty the clip on a pussy motherfucker with a lick in this bio. Nice single day, my own young person.